Bhuta Shuddhi means the purification of existence. And generally, it means to meditate about myself as a divine spiritual soul, the servant of God. Dasi Bhav is another level when our Gurudev has given us our spiritual name, our spiritual form, our spiritual look. So that is the subject here, how to do this Buddha Shudi in a Vaishnava way. And Jiva Goswami has told, and very nicely told, that actually meditating on one's Siddha Swarup and establishing one's self-esteem is the real Buddha Shudi of the Gaudiya Vaishnava. So instead of just meditating that I am eternal spirit soul, the Vaishnavas, especially the worshippers of Srimati Radhika, the Dasis, they meditate on, or we meditate, not they, we. It's all, it's all our goal, those who are together learning from Srila Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj. Meditating every day, who am I? I am a servant of Srimati Radhika. What is the goal of my life? I want to realize this. I want to live in this consciousness. I want to feel this. I want to also vibrate in this way. So that means I have to overcome my old patterns, right? How can I at the same time be in the Sadaka Deha that is filled with so many informations from this life and from past lives, from thinking I'm a man, I'm a woman, I am this, I am that. I am in my job, right, Derek? <laughs> I am doing this, I am doing that. <laughs> but this is not me. This is just, you know, like a temporary play, like in a drama. We are going to the theater or to the movies, and we see a movie. And we can enjoy also to look how in the movie the man or the boy and the girl get to fall in love with each other and how they can have a happy life forever. But this is not actually, we know, we can enjoy the feelings of a happy love and a happy, happy meeting, but we know that it's just a story and there's always a camera running, right? There's a regisseur and every five minutes in this movie, they are making a cut. Cut! You have to do this like that. <laughs> they are doing movies like that in five minutes versions. So also in our lives, we have these versions of our lives. We are having a job. We are getting married. We are having a house. We are having a family. And if we are lucky, they are even also devotees. Then it is even very blissful because together we can remember our spiritual selves. But when it comes to the purification, it's very difficult to get out of the old habits and to get out of the old, you know. Gurudev once said, as long as we have a body, anatas will be there. Because the body in itself with the senses and everything is so constipated that we always identify with what the body does and what the mind thinks. But so what to do, how to get from the old identification into the new identification? And Gurudev even was doing it very harsh, like, or, you know, like graphic comparison last time. He said, all these Bhutas that are with me. Bhuta is also in Hindi and Sanskrit meaning of ghosts. And he's talking that all these impressions that we are having from past lives, they sometimes haunt us. They are doing, you know, their job very well. And we have to do our job. We have to always remember who we really are. So that Jiva Goswami has given a very nice uh, verse. 
and a, a statement that is very um, positive and it's very, it sounds so simple. But of course, we know it takes also a lot of dedication, a lot of mercy and a lot of, you know, greed. But Shiva Goswami says in Bhakti Sandarbha, in the 286th paragraph, those whose only goal of life is to serve God meditate on a spiritual body for themselves, which is an eternal associate of the Lord and which is suitable for serving the Lord. This will suit their worship very well. This is their true Buddha Shudi. So whenever you want to share something, Jainanda Maharaj, please jump in. I'm always eager to listen from you. Otherwise, you know me, I can talk forever. <laughs> So Gurudev thought that that subject was so deep that we should repeat it. And actually, last week I met one Vaishnava, a god brother of us, Jainanda Maharaj, god brother of uh, Narayan Maharaj, and he has been serving in his, you know, family life and as a teacher for many, many, you know, decades now, maybe for twenty years. And now he's at the point, maybe he is, uh, maybe I think he is about 45, uh, almost 50 in this age range, that the children are big, they are going out of the house, they have their own jobs and building their own families and their own life. And now they have a big house and uh, some emptiness is coming and some depression is coming because he always wanted to be a, uh, you know, a Vaishnava, a devotee, with, you know, enthusiasm. But at the moment, some um, something is happening. Some some purification is going on, and so he tries to look into his um, emotions and his mind. And he's doing a therapy with another devotee friend. So that's uh, very good. But then I told him. Our real purification, or we were discussing, not I told him, that sounds strange. We were discussing about how to change our old habit of thinking and feeling. How to overcome, you know, these strong impressions in our hearts from this lifetime. Let's only say this lifetime, <laughs> otherwise it gets too crazy. How to overcome. And he tries to overcome. And then I said, I just read in Narottam Das Thakur's prayers from Jiva Goswami that he said, the true Buddha Shuddhi is to meditate on a spiritual body, to meditate on our Dasi bath, to, to meditate on who I want to become and who I am following, Srimati Radhika. That is also clear to him. But how to do it? How to do it in daily life? And then he was so happy. He was so relieved to hear that Jiva Goswami is giving this uh, good news. Just meditate on who I am as a soul in my relationship to Srimati Radhika. And not to think so much about the past and to to lick my wounds. <laughs> the cats and the dogs, they also lick their wounds. And often as a human, I have also times that I'm licking my wounds. But actually, I have found out also for myself that it doesn't help so much. But now we hear also, instead of, you know, meditating on what is over and why I become this fallen person, who I am now or who I think I am, <laughs> that is something it will take a long time and maybe it will never be better. But to go deeply, deeply into the feeling, how does it feel 
to become a Darcy? What did Lord Chaitanya want to give us most? What are the reasons for his confidential, you know, feelings? Why he came to this planet Earth at this time, not long ago in this Kali Yuga, which has a span of 500,000 almost years. And we know if we watch the history, how fast history is changing. Just about 120 years ago, there was no cars. There were still horses. And now they are starting to develop all kinds of, you know, artificial intelligence. And that is the future. So we see what is developed in 100 years, 200 years. So what to speak about one whole Kali Yuga of 500,000 years, but exactly in that time, Lord Chaitanya came, Nityananda appeared to offer us the most precious, you know, portal. Let's speak a little bit in cosmic uh, vocabulary. The portal to, to come into our spiritual existence and to get out of this cycles of birth and death and repeated, you know, experiences as a human being. And Jiva Goswami says, don't worry about the past, just concentrate on what is now. Now we want to live a spiritual life and we want to grow in our self-perception as a servant, not only any servant. No, we would like to pray to Naratam Dastaka, to all our, our Guru Vargas, to go into their footsteps, to follow, you know, the Dasis of Shimati Radhika. And therefore, Jiva Goswami says, the Sadaka must become a god himself to worship the Supreme Lord. Divine qualities are necessary. And that is only possible when we are associating with those who also want to develop these divine qualities. Otherwise, we are always like a crystal. Rade, yes, open the mic, please, Sandana. Ah, yes, we have a sound now. Thank you. Wait. Hello. 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 So God has God has a spiritual divine body. So to worship divine body, we have to be divine. So we have to have a spiritual body to 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 worship Supreme Lord who has spiritual body. And and this but the other Buddha should means to to meditate in our the spiritual body in in Swarupa Besh. So and then to here say God Baksha, but maybe probably actually Godly or divine. So at first we become divine, then we can really worship divine. And this process is called Bhakti Yoga. That's my my feeling, my understanding, Nade Rade. Radi, Radi, thank you so much. Yes. I want to add to that, that even the thought, you know, even if I have not realized in my meditation, my spiritual self, even if I'm not on this level, but we have also spiritual masters. We have their help and they are seeing us already in that position which helps such a lot isn't it that's why we go to them that's why we hear i was meditating yesterday evening how is it that even though i am not realized yet i just 
aspire. I pray. I I I do my sadhana. I pray to my Gurudev, to all of our Gurudevs. But I listen. I listen. And you know, I remember the story from Krishna book. You remember when Rukmini, she had not met Krishna. Now we are a little bit out of Rindavan. But I'm just using it as an example because she has heard about him. And by hearing about him, she fell in love. And that's how their relation started in Dvaraka. That was Dvarakadish. But the point is that, you know, how to how to develop it by hearing about it again and again and again. Because hearing is such a powerful process to develop my bhakti, to develop my consciousness, actually. That's why we go to the Zooms as much as possible. We listen the classes. We have recordings of Gurudev's classes. We are sharing amongst each other so that my consciousness can become you know, more and more purified so that this feelings of a Dvasi can grow and develop. And especially by associating with the Dvasis who have already more developed feelings of their spiritual self. What to talk about Siddha, Rasika Vaishnavas, who are fully uh, aware of their spiritual self. So that helps to associate with those who are already in that platform. And you will feel when you go to Vrindavan, and I want to know from the devotees who are in Vrindavan, if someone like Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj is talking and sharing and speaking to us and seeing the Dasi, seeing the soul who I am, this is so helpful for myself that I can also feel myself from that platform. Radhe, Radhe, Sumiti. Um, I have a question to you. Do you know somebody where it really worked that meditating on the spiritual body was healing the emotional wounds of the past? Emotional hmm. wound. What you was talking about in the beginning, we have wounds, you know, I like didn't tell it wounds, but she said yeah, that, yeah, feelings that are not so pleasant and easy. Um, yes, of course, I know. I am, I, I also experience it myself. I cannot speak for others, but I know we have talked with Gurdiv a lot because many devotees. They have the same subject and issue that they are, you know, wounded or hurt from past or this life experiences. And that is a blockage. We have it everywhere. I don't want to say any names. Everything is around us. And uh, we are ourselves the best example. We have to overcome the wounds and the hurts of the past and in a positive way. And I know for myself a hundred percent that the background where I am coming from, I don't want to share it now because it's too sad, but it was a sad childhood. And sometimes I meet also persons who have sad childhoods, but Gurudev said, don't stay there. Don't live there. And that's what I do. I don't say I have fully realized my spiritual body. I am. I can say it that I have not. But what I can say is that I have my teachers who have and, and are encouraging me to go in this direction. And I try to my level best to do it. And whenever I get like, let's say, a good flow and a good mercy, I feel very light. I feel very, you know, happy. I'm a happy being. I'm a happy Darcy. But when old habits are coming back, like Gurudev calls them the ghosts, then it becomes everything is very heavy and it looks dark. So we all know that we have these lighter times and darker times because we are still in the gunas. We are still in some, you know, 
ups and downs or ping and pongs, but the process is clear. It doesn't matter, you know, in which in which stage I am right now. If I have a good time or a bad time, that doesn't matter. I will just keep on, you know, following those who are inspiring me, who are with whom I can change, exchange love, because love is my very nature. And Shimati Radhika is love personified. And then I can overcome all the bad habits. Just last week, I was in a home of devotees where the problems, what we are talking now, the coverings, you know, from these bad impressions are so high that they are completely blocked. Much so, they don't even want to go out of their houses. It said, I was really inside something of myself was crying because I know this feeling of depression. I know how it feels. But I also know how it feels to come out of it. So I think by the mercy of Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas and all of our, you know, Dasis who have already developed that, you know, that feelings of Buddha Shudi means purified existence and meditating on their spiritual selves. They have no more connection with the past, but they live in the presence and they have so much, you know, how do you say, they being used as instruments of love. That is, I think, the difference. When I'm being used as an instrument of, of love means a dasi of Shimati Radhika, or we could say also a Kripa Patra of Nityananda, of my Gurudev, of all the teachers of the past. Then I will behave and feel and act in a completely different way as if I identify with my human, uh, how do you say, dest uh, uh, fate. I cannot speak for others, Vandana, but I can only speak for myself. And I can say that I feel already transformed. I feel transformed. I feel the process is working. Although when some bad times are coming, I have to, you know, become aware again who I am. I have to look at my mind. What is it speaking? What are they, you know, the thoughts and why are they why are they so negative? Where is this negativity coming from? Dasi of Shimati Radhika is always positive. And I'm learning this with Gurudev and with all of you. Yeah, is thank this, you. Is this okay for you? Yeah. Of, um, yes, it is. I mean, I would just take it and... Yeah. It's my question, so I actually don't know anybody, so you are the first person, <laughs> <laughs> especially in a relationship, all the wounds are coming up easily, yeah? So, that is true. And I know, I have seen for myself that there is sometimes a moment where these triggers are working, right? Triggers, we call them triggers, you know, when somebody says something and you feel, oh my God, you know, this is just cutting into my heart. But then there's this moment when I, I really, I look at it and I know where it comes from and I realize what is happening and it takes me some time and then I continue. You know, it's this has been, you know, this has been so improved in my life, so much improved. And especially by doing more and more, you know, what Gurudev is guiding me, what all the Vaishnavas and our teachers are helping us to, to go into that direction, to feel as Chimati Radhika's servant. And then when Nitai is giving, you know, the last drop, <laughs> you know, of mercy. It's all, you know, collecting mercy, collecting mercy and being receptive. And this is an ongoing process. Hmm. 
And do you think it's necessary to talk about it with Gurudev, like when you can like really locate what is the feeling about maybe when did it happen? No, because no, that is not necessary. Mm -mm. Mm. He can feel us. If you sit there in front of him and you have the feelings that I want to overcome this or that in your meditation, in your prayers, he can do that. He can do that because she is, you know, Dasi of, of Srimati Radhika. She is so much empathic. She can take it out. We don't even have to word it. Because otherwise our bhakti might become like a, you know, psychotherapy. And that is not. We are following, you know, that path where we are listening about the glories of Srimati Radhika, of Lord Chaitanya, of Mohan, or the and like like this, the layers are going out. Other layers are going out. But we can also observe ourselves as soon as I am not in this process, other layers will be stronger again because they are still very active in my chitta. So I have to consciously and strongly continue with that. But at the same time, I can encourage you, there are devotees who have this capacity to help. If we have the desire to speak and get help by speaking, it is possible. And you know, we have here also our man Mohanji. Devotees are going to him. He has therapy, you know, therapy experiences and he is doing so well. And devotees are very happy. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, that is important. I mean, it, it actually, maybe we sound crazy talking about this, but I feel it's important. It's a truth. We should learn how to overcome uh, old hurts. <clears throat> that is always a very good subject and if you are here for Christmas time I invite you to our house we will have a very nice kirtan here and uh, you are invited <laughs> thank you I will be still here or at least in India no, 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 thank you um, thank you for sharing Suniti thank you for sharing and opening up we have to open up. Otherwise, we are just a facade. We all have our sufferings. We all have our hurts. We have to be honest and open and pray together. So, the scriptural rules and prohibitions definitely show that the devotee who wishes to serve the Supreme Lord must think of his spiritual self in the form of an eternal associate of the Lord. So we have this also, I have done a little research in all okay. traditions, all traditions, you know, different, different uh, devotees of different, different uh, traditions, they have this process that they, how to overcome the identification with the, you know, like temporary self <laughs> identification of the body and how to go into my spiritual self identification. Such a Gaudiya Vaishnava is a Radha Kinkari or Manjari body. Now he is speaking again about our process. Before he was speaking general, now he come again. We are a Radha Kinkari. We are aspiring to become Srimati Radhika Stasi. In other words, Sri Radha Rani is the heart's goddess, dearer to them than their own lives millions of times over. And Sri Krishna is the lord of their lives on the basis of the fact that he is the lord of her life. So that, you know, you, you remember, Vandana, when you make these nice flyers? Radha's Mohan. <laughs> I remember you did them many years ago. That was one big step, right? To feel how Shimati Radhika is the beloved of Mohan and she is our, you know, worshipable Ishta Devi. Before we were trained to always think of Krishna and now we are learning how to become 
Darcy of the Goddess of Love. In this connection, Shilatako Mahashai has used the words Radha Krishna Pranapati. Hence, Sri Yugala Kishore is Jivane Maranegati, the supreme and only shelter both in this life and in the next. By using the words Radha Krishna Pranapati, the blessed author mentions his loyalty to his chosen deity, and by saying Jivane Moranigati, he mentions his firm surrender to the lotus feet. You see, also, Nadatam Dastaku was singing like this, feeling, expressing his feelings. This was giving so much. Uh, empowerment also to those who were listening to him so if we are in the devotees association and we have uh kirtaniyas who have full enthusiasm sit down and you know become blissful and make the mind ready to receive the mercy of shimati radhika stasis of shimati radhika here now comes the paragraph where he is showing that Jivane Morani Gati means he shows his surrender to the Sri Yugala in both Sadaka self esteem as well as in Siddha Deha self esteem. So, both from the personality of a you know, human Sadaka developing into my self esteem as a Dasi. Is all valid. It's all meant to be. Yeah. Our development is going like this. It's not, oh, here I am a human being. I have to cut out all everything that is happening. No, I am here in this process of developing my divine body and my divine self understanding. <laughs> And in this also, we need to be honest with each other, right? I mean, Gurudev is also going through difficult times now because his daughter is so sick. His, you know, Madaji also became, you know, and then this and that and so many disciples all, you know, and some are going, some are coming. And he is, you know, our, of course, he is our, our jewel. But he himself, he also says, you know, it's a test. Uh, I need to also, you know, look at myself. How am I reacting in these times of difficulty? Am I, you know, seeing it as a, you know, from the position of my my spiritual Darcy bath? How can I, you know, be authentic in this? And how can I observe myself in these difficult times? And for all of us, these difficult difficult times will come. And especially now, we are aging, right, Jayananda Maharaj? We are now coming in the time of yes. how to deal uh, with disease and death and how, you know, this, no? You have also experiences. Yeah, I experience also, also now even. And you are so great that you always, you know, stay in your fixed position with your love. <laughs> You know, it's the, it's, a, it's it's a thing, the process we all go through, all of us, together. And some are younger bodies, you know, they have different things. They have to find, a you know, a place where to live and a job and they want to have a family. And those of us, you know, we are going now through the last, you know, 10, 20, whoever, you know, I didn't, nobody knows. But to do it in that mood, let Lord Nityananda guide me. Let Shimati Radhika, you know, let they use me as much as possible as their instruments of love and let myself be this instrument of love for others. That will make me really happy to the topmost happiness when I am not just only, you know, so much involved in my own, uh, 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 in the process to help myself, but no, to share with others and help others to to find themselves 
and there are so many things to do so many beautiful services to do and Shimati Radhika is waiting for us to to you you know become tools of her love and Gurudev Gurudev wants to use all of his disciples in a very yeah. positive way to uh, help and you know inspire those souls who are ready to to dive into the you know self really realization And wherever we are, there are so many possibilities. And if we are not happy where we are, then you go closer to a community where there's more action, love in action, right? Marjo Yoga Shakti. <laughs> we need love in action. <laughs> so this happens one by one. And we see that Gurudev... He is always giving class. He is the perfect example. Anjay Nanda Maharaj, always listening, always absorbing, you know, never give up on this process that my consciousness will be focused from the mood of I am a servant of divine love. I am servant of Shimati Radhika. I am part of divine love. I have to more and more realize it by mercy and also by my desire. Because I am thinking often, I don't know about you, uh, Jai Nanda Maharaj, because you are always in service. How do I want to leave this world in this lifetime? What kind of consciousness will be there with me? I have to, to you know, be, be, how do you say that? I have to um, deeply conscious of what is my goal in this lifetime and always remember that in the good and the bad times so this is the two personalities that we are living in let's say we are one personality but at the same time we have a sadaka deha we have a human body we are here in this world and we are present in this world with the love that we are and that we are also channeling when we are more and more uh, surrendering to Sri Gurudev, Sri Radharan. Sri Radharan, um, wait a minute. In life they, no, this, yeah, sorry, I got... Lost in the paragraph. The sadaka thinks, Sri Radha and Mohan are my only shelter in life or in death. In life they protect me from evil and bless me by giving me the good fortune of bhajan, rati and prem. And in death they are so kind to bless me by giving me the service of their divine lotus feet. Or if I'm not su suitable for that service to their blessed lotus feet, they can keep me wherever they wish. Isn't that a nice meditation? You know, of course I have my goal, but Radha and Mohan, they know best. They will keep me. They will take me. Gurudev has offered myself to them. Yeah, I don't belong to myself anymore. If we look at it closely, I belong to my Gurudev. He has taken my very self and he has put me into the lap of Radha Mohan, of their service, of Chaitanya and Mahaprabhu's, uh, Nityananda's, you know, service. And we remember also from Chaitanya Chaitamrita, there is that passage the Lord San, uh, Sanatan Goswami also, he felt so bad about himself. He had all these sores on his body and he felt, I am such a fallen person. How can Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how can my Lord embrace me? Like this, he wanted to hide. And he was in his mind, Vandana, now your question is also answered. In his mind, Sanatan Goswami wanted to throw himself in front of Ratha Yatra Kart. 
Have you read that passage? Have you heard about that? He wanted to kill himself. He felt so bad about himself. He felt, I am not worthy to be so close to my, my Lord. I am feeling down, you know. He was walking through the forest long time. He had, you know, infections all over his body. His mind, everything was down. So we see also our, you know, great examples. They also, they also have times of, of problems and they also have times of doubts. But what happened when he came close to Lord Chaitanya? Lord Chaitanya said, you are my servant. You don't even belong to yourself anymore. <laughs> Yes. This body, this body is my body. I have many things to do with that body. You know, it's not your choice. You don't, you don't, you, are you in Maya? <laughs> you don't belong to yourself even. So like this, then Lord Chaitanya embraced, embraced Sanatana Goswami and all his wounds were healed. So this also is a very good point to meditate. That when we come close to Radha and Krishna, to the Vaishnavas, to Gurudev, they can see our wounds, they can mm. see our, our hurts, they can see our rotten things. Mm. No, we don't have to hide it, it's obvious. But by the time we mm. will get more and more, you know, out of this, out of this disease to think that I should decide what to do with my life. Mm. Yeah. Now the time comes that whatever you want, you will do with me. Right, Jayananda Maharaj? You have also these experiences. You had so many plans what you wanted to do. <laughs> but Kurde was changing them all again and again. Yes. So that is our good fortune. And we still think, what should I do with my life? But at one point of surrender, it is actually obvious that things are done with us. And Lord Chaitanya said this also to Sanatana Goswami. Don't think that you are the one that has to decide what to do with your body. I want to use you. You are my, I have many things to do through you. Mm. And I love this meditation. It's a good meditation. It's not my will that should happen. I have many examples. I know also Gora Chandraji, my dear Gora Chandraji, you know, he <laughs> for years he came to Mungya Mandir and he was always, you know, he always wanted to, you know, have a life with a, you know, beautiful wife, but somehow it took a long time. To find the right Rasa Madhuri. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever Gurudev would see him, he would say, Oh, there comes my young boy. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Gulachana, he said, Oh, Gurudev, I'm getting old. You are just joking about me. I'm old man. <laughs> <laughs> but what did he do? He always was, you know, working in Germany half a year. Then he would come half a year to Jamdaha and he would do all that was, you know, he would give all his energy, all his love. He is, of course. But then this day came, this blessed day came. He wanted to go to Jamdaha. You know that story. And uh, then Gurudev said, no, no, this time you stay here. This time you stay here. He was very uh, shocked. Oh. Usually, I always go to Damdaha after Kartik or whatever, but now Gurudev says, you stay here. Sorry, my internet was uh, a little bit out. So that self-surrender in the process of Vaidhi Bhakti is called Atma Nivedanam. And uh, that is the step by step by step realization that I have 
given my life in the hands of divine love. And that divine love is guiding me through my Vaishnavas, through my Gurudev, through my life partner. I see everywhere the mercy. It's coming in different, different ways. And then like this, Gradually, the self-identification of doing, of being the doer and being the controller of finding a way is replaced with the faith that I am being used in everything that happens in my life or that doesn't happen, happen, even though I would like it to happen. It is, uh, their mercy. <laughs> Like this, we are continuing, and it also says here, in life, Radha and Krishna, they are my sh shelter, my only shelter in life or in death. In life, they protect me from evil, and in death, they are so kind to bless, bless me by giving the service of their divine lotus feet. Or if I am not suitable for that service, they can keep me wherever they wish. Their wish will become my very life. In this way, the surrendered sadhakas keep the lotus feet of Yuga Lucky Shore as the essence of everything and become carefree and free from doubts throughout their bhajan lives, in life or in death. Carefree means it's up to you now. You guide me. Please help me. <laughs> you know, maybe three months ago, Gora Sunda and me were supposed to have a hotel. And I was shocked. I was very shocked about this. I was very doubtful about this. Very doubtful. But Gurudev said, yes, yes, you have a hotel. Yes, yes, yeah. Then you have to move and this and that and that. And I said, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm working in a hotel. This is my destiny as an old lady. I have to work in a hotel for the rest of my life. Jai Shirade. That's what you want. Jai Shirade. <laughs> I was going crazy about this, you know, in myself, inside. But I said, okay, I'd practice to surrender to what the, you know, circumstances bring. And Gurudev said, yes, and you should pack everything and you should move. And I, am I like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then two days before the contract was supposed to be signed, two days, everyone, two days, another interest of the hotel came and bought the hotel. Jai Radhi. <laughs> so these are personal experiences that really I am not the doer. And also I think in Chaitanya Chaitamrita or what I heard one story, there's a boatman and it was raining, 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 and there's a hole in the boat, but the boatman puts the water from outside into the boat. And then the people ask him, why do you put the water inside the boat? You should put the water outside the boat. <laughs> Otherwise, we all sink. The boat will go down. But he said, my Lord is giving rain. I will also put water inside the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this is fully crazy. But like this, we have to become a little crazy. That is our, how do you say, our situations to learn how to surrender in all the circumstances, even when they become very intense and crazy. <laughs> really, I tell you honestly, this hotel story was going on for two years. And in my heart, I was only thinking, no, no, no. But my mouth was saying, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to surrender, you know, because I thought, well, if I am just a small Darcy. I am just, I cannot control situations. I cannot control what my Gurudev wants me to do, what my Gorasona wants me to do. I cannot control it. I am. I will be there 
you know, just to serve. I am just a servant. But in the last, in the last, you know, I should have it. I cannot say any more. <laughs> so, this happens sometimes. We do, we do, we do, and we think, my God, how is this going to end? No, how is how is all going to develop? But okay, I trust Gurudev. I trust the the divine will. You know, every day I am praying, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Jai Shri Please take me as your instrument of love. That should also, you know, always remember. I I try to remember that 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 is actually what I want. And that I want to also live and I want to try as best as I can. But still, of course, I am not perfect. I am imperfect, very imperfect. But I want to try as best as I can. And I know I have the blessings and the love of my Gurudev, of the Vaishnavas, of, you know, I feel so blessed. You are my only hope. <laughs> So I thankful. I'm so thankful. Thank you for your your uh, patience to, with me and with my also development. I feel blessed by all of your association, and uh, I'm so happy to be also in Vrindavan with you again or meet you here. And please come and visit us and bless us with your love. And never give up. Never give up. <laughs> Even if there's difficult times. And come here to Beckenfeld and please visit us. We will be so happy. Oh, my dears, time is running out. We are going uh, into the next Zoom conference. Are there any sharings from anyone I would like to hear from your hearts too? I just want to thank you that you opened your heart and that you shared so honestly because I can relate to everything you said and I'm so thankful and this gives me also the strength to continue even in the hard times and also to be open and share because we have we have like a sacred uh, room here we are no, we are all together and if if we see your example, you are opening and sharing and you are vulnerable. So I can also do it and not have this facade and masks because this is taking so much energy. And like this, we can really share from the heart and be close to each other, even if it's just Zoom, but I feel so close to all of you. And thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, my Yoga Shakti, Jai Radhi. Thank you also, Vandana and all Vaishnavis. Vaishnavas. Thank you, hey. thank you so much. Radhi. Thank you. Oh, Mahababa. Wow. Mahababa and Labaka together. Jai Ho. Wow. <laughs> Mahabao visit me. We have so nice association. Wow, so nice association. We paint together. We yeah. are so happy. Yeah. You look shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both shiny, huh? Yeah? Wow. <laughs> Suniti, Suniti, can you hear? Yes. So I have just read today uh, Biratok's Manjari sad things. And uh, by the mercy of Gurudev, greed is coming. Greed yes. means, you know, greed means strong desire, also feeling I feel, you know. And also today, very interesting things. Bajan means to seek. Bajan means to seek. To seek. seek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to seek. Yeah. To what, what to seek. What to look for. Yeah, what to look for. This is, you know, we have to asking, you know, ourselves, what do we, we do bhajan, but what for? Who is seeking? What we are seeking? This is Ananda's you know. <laughs> so, okay, thank you very much, Sniti.
Thank you all. Thank you all, Maharaj, and all are, you know, so happy together, sharing, guiding each other.